activated sludge system here in this case the activated sludge it consists of aeration tank settling tank and the sludge return system so at first the sewage from the primary treatment plant is mixed with the sludge which is drawn from the previous batch means it is already activated so that's why it is known as the activated sludge or return sludge what is this sludge sludge is the population of microorganism so the pre used population of microorganism is known as activated sludge because it is activated previously now it is activated or you can say it is in the activation state so that's why known as the activated sludge so sludge is nothing else is just the population of microorganism which were used for the you can say the degradation of the waste water so this activated sludge contain the large number of microorganism and serve as a inoculum of microorganisms after mixing of sludge the sewage is placed in the aeration tank and in this tank sewage is continuously aerated for 6 to 8 hours during this aeration period the microorganism they oxidize the organic matter present within the sewage water to form carbon dioxide water and no3 after the oxidation sewage is passed to the settling tank and the left undisturbed or you can say untouched for 2 to 3 hours because during this period the sludge will settle down to the bottom and now this is the activated sludge which can be reused so this activated sludge can be used as a nucleum for the next batch of the sewage and most of the sludge is removed and some is returned to the aeration tank for the next round of treatment means we can keep using this activated sludge for the next batches and maximum sludge it get utilized only small amount of sludge it can be used for the next round